Hi, it's Marietta. Thanks a lot for tuning in. In this video, I want to talk about why should you apply for E2 visa instead of L visa, especially if you are entrepreneur, business owner, someone who is expanding to United States market with your business and investment. And so if this is you, definitely stick around. Coming up. All right, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. I want to talk about why I believe E2 visa is a much better option than L visa, especially if you are aspiring foreign business immigrant who wants to invest in the United States, start your business in the United States, possibly expand existing business to the United States. And what do you need to know? So this is actually frequently asked question, especially from those who are eligible for both L visa and E2 visa. And if you want to find out more, if you are eligible for E2 visa, I will link a playlist here for you. Also, if you want to find out more about L visa requirements, I will be also linking another playlist as well. So once you understand the requirements, pretty much you know that in order for you to apply for E2 visa, you have to invest. On the other hand, in order for you to apply for L visa, you need to have existing business back home that you are managing, you are executive or manager of this company, and you are expanding to the United States and you would qualify under L1A visa. Now, there are many, many instances when my clients, potential clients are asking me, should I apply for L or E2, especially if they qualify for E2 because they are from treaty countries. I want to also emphasize that not everyone is eligible to apply for E2 visa. One of the main requirements is that you have to be coming from treaty country. So if you want to find out more, if you are from treaty country, I will link below this video a link to my blog that you can check out. And there I'm explaining what is the list of treaty countries. Once you establish that you are actually eligible to apply for E2 visa because you are coming from treaty country now, and you also know that you have running, you are running back home this existing business that is profitable at least for one year, and you're the manager, the founder. Now you can decide which option would be the best for you, and then you. I usually recommend that you go with E2 visa. The reason is simple. E2 visa is usually issued for up to two to five years. You will get a stamp to your passport. And for this period of time, you can stay up to two years within the United States and you can keep extending this visa type. Number two, when you apply for E2 visa, you are not under pressure to actually create the entire department within your business. So what do I mean by that? When you are actually applying for L visa, you are expanding your business to the United States. So you do have existing business back home and you need to establish that you run this business for at least one year in preceding three years. You are the manager of that company. You are the founder of the company and you are expanding to the United States. However, your visa in this case, especially when it comes to startups in the United States, will be only issued for a period of one year. We're talking L visa. Your L1A visa will initially will be issued only for a period of one year. And therefore, you have a very short period of time to actually establish the business to the point that you can actually then apply for extension and be successfully approved. I have helped many entrepreneurs who were not approved under L visa to switch to from L to actually E2 because with E2 there is no such requirement. Your E2 will be issued based on the investment, based on the business that is real and active, based on the business that is not marginal but profitable. Once you are meeting these requirements and obviously you are from the E2 treaty country, then you can apply for E2. And so if you have the choice between L visa and E2 visa, I always suggest to go with E2. Even though with E2 visa, you need to establish by strong evidence that you have invested substantial amount of capital. Now, here is a misconception. Most people think that I have to invest 100,000 and more in order for me to get E2. And that is not accurate information. I have helped many entrepreneurs over the years to actually get E2 under $100,000. In fact, in my upcoming video, I will be talking about how you can get E2 under $100,000. And so definitely stick around and stay tuned for that video. However, 
Don't be discouraged by the number, by the requirement of the investment. No matter what, you would have to invest into your business, even though you are filing for L1 A visa. No matter what, especially if you are expanding to the United States market, no matter what, you would have to establish this business properly, especially under L1 A visa, because you will be given the visa only for a period of one year. And then if you are applying for extension, you would actually need to establish by evidence that you are not only fully established the company, the company's operational making profit, but you have also hired people. With E2 visa, on the other hand, there is no such requirement. You don't need to hire anybody under E2 visa. This is another misconception. People think E2 is EB5. That's not true. E2 visa is not EB5 visa. They have similar names, but it's a very different visa category. EB-5 is a green card through investment. It's permanent residency card, in other words. E-2 visa is non-immigrant visa type, which allows you to manage company within the United States, obviously operate the business, grow the company, and it's temporary. So you would have to renew the visa every two years. Eventually, you might want to upgrade. That is something that I do with my clients. We brainstorm the strategy, how we can actually scale the company. We, in fact, scale the company to seven figures, and then we upgrade to a green card. And for those who are interested to dig deeper, you are welcome to book a consultation with me. The link is going to be below this video. So the conclusion is, if you run business that is international, if the business is already established and incorporated in the United States, that's a different story. If you're a true manager executive of multinational company, then, especially if it's not your company, yes, you can apply for L1A visa. However, if you're a startup, brand new startup, who is just about to start this business in the United States, even though you are expanding to the United States, the existing business in your home country, I highly recommend consider E2 visa for reasons that I already disclosed in this video. So, like I said, if you want to dig deeper, you're welcome to book a call. And also, I'm going to be throwing resources below this video. You will find links to free webinar trainings, how you can apply for E2 visa in 2021. Also, how can you scale your company and eventually upgrade to a green card. And for those who are interested to work with me one-on-one -on -one privately, you are welcome to apply and book a call. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, support my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.